Yeah, so that's what worries me because Canada is not used to terrorists. In the phrase of um, Senator Dandrand a hundred years ago, we're a fireproof house far away from flammable materials. We've, we haven't had a tough day in our lives. I mean, I suppose there was the War of 1812, but okay, in the last two centuries, we have not had a war. Yes, we did send soldiers to World War I and World War II and the Boer War, actually, and uh, Korea. And we did send troops to Afghanistan. It's true. We have peacekeepers. We used to have peacekeepers around the world. We don't have too many these days. But our home and native land has been peaceful. There's never been a war in Calgary or Vancouver or Edmonton or Winnipeg. I mean, there was, I suppose, the Real Rebellion. We were a fireproof house far away from inflammable materials. And now we have brought thousands of people who are terrorist supporters, who are chanting in support of today's Nazis. And they're not just doing so in plazas. They're not just doing so outside the Israeli embassy today. In fact, it might still be going on right now, but an hour and a half ago, they were in front of a Jewish community center in Toronto. Here, play that clip for a second. So this is in downtown Toronto, Spadina and Bloor Street. I can't. Bye. Thanks. What are they saying? What do they want now? I couldn't make it out. Um, but those are uh, pro Hamas supporters. I didn't hear that chant. And that is right outside the, the Miles Nadal Jewish Community Center in downtown Toronto, or Midtown, I guess it might be called, Spadina and Bloor. Um, it is not an Israeli asset, it is not an embassy. It's uh, a Jewish center, but it's open to every Torontonian. It's like the YMCA that stands for the Young Men's Christian Association. But you don't have to be Christian to go to the YMCA. Um, there's, a, there's a gym there. There's swimming pools. There's meeting rooms. There's a restaurant. There's, it's a community center. There's a kindergarten there. I think there's a daycare there. There are some Jewish things there, that's for sure. You don't have to be Jewish to go there. They're protesting there because it's Jewish, not because it's Israeli. It's not Israeli at all. Miles Nadal is a Canadian. I, I forget who he is. I think he was some donor. I'm just going to Google his name. A Canadian-born international entrepreneur. You can go to milesnadal.com. He's got his own website, apparently. Go to milesnadal.com. He's an international entrepreneur and philanthropist. He passionately believes in championing people to pursue their dreams, dare to dream. Um, he's got a big philanthropy section, community, children's welfare, health care, education. He just happens to be a Jew. And so he supports Jewish things. Yeah, go ahead and put that on. Just like he's just a guy. He's born in Canada and he supports Jewish things. And, and um, I mean, there he is. He um, gives to the Tw Kiwanis Club in Toronto. He gives to the Schulich School of Business in New York. He gives to a school in Miami for some reason. Um, he gives to the Cancer Center. He gives to the big uh, Toronto Mount Sinai Hospital in Toronto, which is, which is, again, named after the Jews, Mount Sinai Hospital. That's because, you know, 100 years ago, hospitals wouldn't hire Jewish doctors, so the Jewish doctors started their own hospitals. Across North America, if you ever see the Mount Sinai Hospital, there's, there's a bunch of them. Those are hospitals that 80, 90, 100 years ago were, yeah, I think she can take it down now. Those are hospitals that were set up by Jewish doctors who weren't allowed to practice in the regular hospitals, and they're still, have, they're still re often regarded as excellent hospitals. So basically, a Jewish philanthropist who gives money to some Jewish causes, but to 
you know, you don't have to be Jewish to go to Mount Sinai. You don't have to be Jewish to go to York University. So he gives million, probably, I don't know, I, I don't know, never met him. Uh, maybe he gives $100 million away. But because he's a Jew and because he supported this Jewish community center that everyone in the world can go to, Hamas was targeting him and that place. Because they're not against Israel, full stop. They're against Jews. They want to kill the Jews. That's in the Hamas. Hey, I got to tell you, I'm going on a cruise with a whole bunch of rebels. We're sailing out of Fort Lauderdale on March 23rd. 2024. That's not so far away, less than six months away. A gorgeous trip around the Caribbean, Paul and America line. Boy, is that luxurious. And we're going to bring some of our favorite rebel talent, Sheila Gunn Reed, David Menzies. And can you believe it? We're actually bringing Tamara Leach with us, and you are invited. That's rebelnewscruise.com.